up everybody I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the Xbox cloud works for mobile gaming I'm on a note 20 ultra uh, just came out recently I'm gonna be on a 5g network with T-Mobile I'm playing with an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller connected via Bluetooth I have a, uh, a clip attached to my controller that has the uh, the phone attached to it as well so I don't have to prop the phone up against anything uh, I know that with the Note 20, there was a um, not necessarily a bundle. People thought it was a bundle, but if you pre-ordered the phone, you got 100 to 150 dollars in Samsung store credit, which you could use to buy accessories. And one of the accessories available was a uh, Power A uh, Moga XP5, something like something like that, which was basically an Xbox controller with a clip. But you can buy the clip separately, and that costs like twelve dollars. You can buy that on Amazon, and it get to you in two days. Uh, so that's what I have. I have the clip on my Series Two Elite controller. I'm gonna run a speed test real quick, just so you can see what's going on. I ran one just a second ago, but just you know, like I said, this is full transparency. I want you to see what's going on with my phone. Uh, we're not gonna blame nothing on lagging. We're not gonna do none of that. Just want to have uh, an accurate experience of what it would be like to game outside uh, at a different location, just on the go, mobile, via the cloud. <clears throat> I'm going to run this test twice, just to show you, you know, it's no fluke or no uh, bad moment. I'm at home right now. I could be on my Wi-Fi, but like I said, I want to simulate what it's like to game on the go in the cloud. So we're going to test one more time. And then, uh, let's see, what should I play? Probably going to play Streets of Rage 4. Um, this one's looking like it's pretty consistent. A little bit slower this time, but not that much. I'm not going to finish. Uh, all right, so let's go back to the app. Using my controller to navigate, even though I can use the touch screen. Uh, it's responsive on here, but I'm not connected to the net yet or to the cloud. So let's go show all. These are all the games that's available now in the beta. This is only the beta. Once it launches officially, September 15th, there's going to be a lot more available. So right now, this is all that's here. Um, I'm going to choose something simple right now streets of rage 4 i've only launched it and just went in for like a split second because i was gonna do this video before but my son needed my attention real quick so i went ahead and stopped it so i didn't really even get to see how well it plays so i don't know if it's gonna be laggy i don't know if it's gonna <laughs> you know have an input lag i don't know what's going on we'll find out Make sure my volume's all the way up. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. turn it down because I am going to be talking. I don't know if that volume would drown me out or not. Um, Alright, so here we are, Streets of Rage 4. A couple of quick things that I do know about already before I start playing. Uh, if you want to get to the guide, there's like a mini version of the guide. I don't know if they're going to flesh it out when it officially releases, but you just tap your screen and up at the top in the middle you see the uh, icon. Just tap that and you have a mini version of the guide, which you can see your friends online, you can start a party, invite people. I tested this out. This is the one thing that I did test out, and I was able to join someone's party, but they couldn't hear me. But I had um, I had earbuds in, and I don't know if they have a mic, I believe they have a microphone, I'm not sure. Um, it said that my microphone was plugged in when I was in the, 
party. Oh, that's not too loud. Okay, so yeah. I was able to join the party, I just couldn't hear me. But yeah, you just check your friends out, but you can't type any messages. So that's another shortcoming. Uh, I got the one achievement right at the beginning, eating the apple off the floor. I remember that much. <laughs> I do remember that. So I ate an apple and got an achievement. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, I don't really know how this plays. So let's find out. I'm no daddy's girl. I don't care about the intro. I just want to see how this plays and how it feels. So we're going to just do something simple. And then after this, I'll play something a little bit more intense and see how that comes across. Maybe I'll play Gears or Halo or something like that. Uh, no. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a lag right there to start off with. Let's see. Um, so the music's chopping a little bit, but it seems responsive. The slightest delay. It's not. It's not gonna kill you for a game like this. Maybe for another game. So like I said, that's why I'm gonna. back out is tap the screen and you hit the little three dots on the left quit out all right so it was pretty responsive I don't think it was a uh, hundred percent I could feel it a little bit but not enough to mess me up but I want to play something a little bit more intense and see what happens uh, I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna go going to do gears of halo I think Forza might need some responsiveness too, but I'm gonna try Halo. Give Halo a shot.
I can see this feature being pretty useful for people that's on the go and still want to, you know, play console level games and not, you know, I mean, there's some good mobile games out there too uh, that can give you good experiences, but, you know, you might want to continue where you left off with certain games and this is a good way, uh, I believe. Yeah, so we'll see because I'm launching Halo now. It's not going to be a new experience. I'm going to have all my saves and all my progress. We'll see what happens here. I'm gonna actually play a multiplayer game. I'm not gonna do campaign. Having a phone attached to the controller makes the controller so heavy. <laughs> I'm not accustomed to this. Probably should have got the little things that connect on the side of the phone, sort of like um, the switch. All right, so yeah, it's gonna bring my saves from the cloud. Okay. So let's do um, social. I don't wanna. Still looking for a match. Okay, all right, so I'm in. I don't think it was me being mobile that caused that. Um, all right, so we'll see what goes on from here. Having the phone clip to the controller is kind of heavy. If you have an option and you, you have some money you want to spend, you don't mind spending it, maybe get the attachments that go on the sides of your phone and play it like a switch. That might be beneficial too, but then again, if you have big hands, it might not be. Uh, Slayer. Buttons are <laughs> something like that. Yeah, this feels good. Feels responsive. But just the weight of the controller. This feels totally different. Let me see if I can adjust. adjust the a sniper a rifle. Bit. I don't know. Yeah, see, it feels like the controller's gonna slip out my hand. I don't know. Let's 
suck. I'm gonna suck playing this. <laughs> Propped up against something, it might be a little better. But as a stream, like the bottom part is slipping out from under my thumbs. Like the, not my thumbs, but like the palm. being there more than helping. So let's get out of here. <laughs> but hey, we testing this out live. So I'm gonna do one more, one more game. Uh, maybe I'll do Forza. I'll do Forza. Another game that requires pinpoint accuracy when it comes to uh, input because I'll spin out, I'll mess up a turn, you know, if there's any delay. So I want to see how this feels. I didn't feel delay in Halo. I didn't. It kind of lagged at one point in the beginning of that match, but uh, otherwise, I didn't really feel lag. It's more so how the controller feels with the extra weight. 
and uh, this clip has these little screws on each joint and you can adjust the, uh, the angle you can adjust the so I'm gonna try to add the height pretty high so you know I'm gonna get a uh, weight to it so I'm gonna try to adjust this a little differently something that's good for your style of play, the way you like to hold the controller. Okay, this is a little better than the like angle. But it feels lighter, and it feels more stable. So maybe I should have had it this way for her. I do need to tilt this down a little bit. Let's see if I can tilt it. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Okay, I tilt it. Angle it right there. Let's see if this works. Oh, this feels good. Okay. So I needed to adjust it. A Welcome bit. back, Jackson. Alright, so I am playing Forge Horizon 4.
using the book. Let's see how to do it. Now maybe they'll improve it to see the beta. But it's really easy. Really, really. In conclusion, I want to wrap this up. I knew it was going to take about 30 minutes, so I'm almost there. Uh, I think that it's a good service. I don't really have any complaints. I think that, uh, you know, it widely, your experience widely varies based on certain preferences you may have. I think that um, if you are pretty sensitive about controller weight and feel, you know, you really need to ex uh, explore your options, whether you want to have a, uh, a clip holding the phone attached to your controller, because that adds a lot of weight and it can cause it to be pretty awkward for certain games. It didn't bother me for Forza, but it definitely bothered me for Halo. Uh, it didn't bother me for Streets of Rage at all. I think my experience in Streets of Rage was probably the best, probably because that's, those are the games that need to be played on this think the shooters racers fighters certain games like that i don't think they are meant for this service uh, you could probably get away with single player stuff with shooters but multiplayer <laughs> i don't know it depends they got to improve some of that uh, response time it's not bad but it's not great either um so it's you know i think certain games that'll be pretty beneficial you know certain adventure games or excuse me narrative type of games maybe side scrollers um a game like grounded might be good because it's not intense i think that intense games might not be able to get your best experience playing them through the cloud you might want to just stick to console i think a game like hellblade might be good uh i think that's a good example of a good game like it's it looks like a console game on your phone and you don't need to have pinpoint accuracy and timing and everything for that game. Uh, you know, I think Ori might be good, Record would be good, you know, maybe Sea of Thieves, State of Decay. Those would be good games for it. I don't think that Halo and Gears would be good or Forza. They'll be okay. But unless they improve the response time, I don't think it'll be good. But I just wanted to show you. Uh, I didn't want to hide anything. I wanted you to see it for what it was. Um, all in all, I probably rate it. I give it a solid eight. I give my experience an eight, even with the complaints I had, because I think the complaints that I had are more so just from my preferences, especially with Halo, because. I play shooters a certain way. I like to hold my controller a certain way. I like to position my body a certain way. And I kind of had to be a little unnatural to play it. So it might take some time for me to adjust. And I don't want to penalize the experience because of that. There was the slightest bit of delay, but not enough to really hinder me. Uh, it was more so just the, the weight of the controller. It just didn't feel right. I think if I had those... Uh, I forgot what that accessory is called, but it looks almost like the Switch uh, controller, you know, whatever they call the little things. Stick them on the side of the um, the phone and control it like that. I think you have a lot more control over your body movement and your positioning and your posture when you play versus having it attached to your controller. Because I'm definitely sitting awkward right now holding it. Um, if you play on a tablet, you have it propped up against something, you have a stand, that'll work. If you have a kickstand on your phone, that'll work. Uh, but having it clipped 
trust me, it's uh, it's different. It's not negative. It's just different. And I think that um, that about that about covers it. I think they will probably improve upon this once it releases. I'm gonna probably do this again on the 15th of September and just see how crazy it is and see what other games they put on here and if the performance is better or worse. Uh, I won't hide anything. I'll record the whole thing. Uh, that's about it. That about does it. So I'll catch you guys again in a couple of weeks.